Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. I am your host, your commentator. F- oh, okay. Well, David Cooper, co- David Cooper, sorry, aka the best co- color tamer, color commentator that XWF has to offer. Sorry, but we we're getting stuff start, started off here really quick. Jay Glenn is making his entrance right now. I'm wondering what he what he has to say. Um. Let me just get through this real quick. This is season two, episode 41, the go home show for fight before Summerfest. And Jay Glenn, the general manager, is walking to the ring, making me rush through my whole intro. Thanks a lot, man. I mean, you rushing me, rush me to do the job that you pay me to do. Thank you so much, but he, he must, he, he better have a good reason for making me stumble like this. Right, let's hope. Let's hope that his reason that his reasoning is sound. There is a good reason. Hello everybody and welcome to Fight. Of course, I and the general manager, you all know that. And I have here to make an announcement here tonight about Christy and Summerfest. So as you all know, Christy is the world or the universal champion, but he does not have an opponent for Summerfest. But he does have an opponent for Summerfest. And I know who it is, but none of you do. And neither does Christy. And no one's gonna find out who it is until Summerfest. I just want you to know that he does have an opponent and he will be competing in the main event of Summerfest. So keep your eyes peeled and tune into Summerfest this summer. Well, that was a major announcement there for the main event of Summerfest. Christy will be facing a mystery opponent. But right now, the match that concerns me is the match kicking us off. It is the Blood Brothers going up against Team R&R, JJ Ramirez, and Tyler Reeves. Here come the Blood Brothers. Now, recent weeks, well, this has been brewing for a while now. These two have had, there's been like some tension going on between these two. But they're hoping here that a win can start them off on the right track. Or not start them off, get them back on the right track. There's his older, there's John and his younger brother James. And they're putting on a great act, but everyone knows that there's definitely some, there's definitely some anger brewing between these two at each other. You know, James wanted to break out. John wanting to keep the train going, keeping this team together. I mean, James, rightfully so, wants to break out on his own. I mean, he had, he actually did get uh, a title opportunity. Uh, you know, he actually won himself an Intercontinental Championship opportunity. Just never cashed in on it due to his brother wanting to stick together as a team. And he, he went with the old elder brother, but he went and stayed with the team. He did the right thing by his family, but as someone asked, is that really enough? Let's hope that a win here tonight will prove or make it seem to his mind that it is enough. But here it comes Team R and R, Tyler Reeves. JJ Ramirez, former Extreme Champion Tyler Reeves, recently lost the Extreme Title to to um hmm I uh, can't can't seem to compute that one. All right, um, well he for some reason I can't remember who he lost it to, but he lost the Extreme Title. In the steel, I don't, I don't, I don't know. Whatever he, 
he's no longer just the extreme champion. Let's just leave it at that. Um, wow, that was weird. Anyway, yeah, we're great matchup between these two two teams here, and they're also vying for a title opportunity at the Fight Tag Team Champions Game Over at Summerfest and Game Over who's going to be competing in our main event tonight. Here it comes. Oh, oh. James tagged himself in at the start of the match. He wants to start things off. And here we go. There's that tension between those two, that dissension. James starts off with the uppercut and wails on Tyler Reeves there. Taking control of this match early in the heel kick from James. Tyler Reeves now on the offensive. Wait, nope. James counters back with Tyler Reeves. Tyler Reeves, like I said, former extreme champion. He is a tough competitor, and James is figuring that out the hard way. Now he's got him into the corner. Tagging in his partner, J.J. Ramirez. And here comes that soup. Ooh! Suplex body slam combo. I don't know, but whatever it is, it hurts immensely as he's just wrenching on the arm. Just twisting it up. And now J.J. sends James out of the ring. This is the wrong time for the Blood Brothers to let the dissension between them, let the tension build up and affect their performances, especially against a team of tough guys like J.J. Ramirez and, and, and Tyler Reeves as James finally counters, a, counters J.J. in a snake eyes onto the apron. Reps at the count of six. He's got to get J.J. back in the ring. He does. Gets in before the ref gets to seven. Nice whipping JJ through the ropes. Ooh, and a back elbow from James. And now he tags in his older brother, John. Oh! But John runs into a knee from JJ. And now JJ is beginning his assault on John. But John trying to fight back here, but no, he receives elbows from JJ, breaking the hold. And then another elbow kick, and an, ooh, roundhouse kick to John, but John counters back with a shoulder block. Now he tries to whip it to the corner. No, it actually knocked out James. He sent John over the top rope, which actually knocked down James. I think we're all shocked there. John just stood there on the ropes. That's going to add more, more fuel to the fire. That is, that is the dissension between James and his brother John. Tyler Reeves, oh, he was going at John, but John just raked his odds, and Tyler Reeves knocks him down. Now Tyler Reeves, he's got, oh, whoa, 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 what a maneuver from Tyler Reeves. What's he doing? Oh, the back of the neck, and, and he's just showing off. He's just taunting his opponent. But John fighting his way back into this matchup, but he's sent to the ropes. And a big boot from Tyler Reeves. Oh, what's he got? What's he got planned here? Whoa, 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 whoa. In reverse, DDT from John counters it. And John looking to end it. He's going to end it with a go-home driver on Tyler Reeves. One, two, and he does. Blood Brothers with a victory.
My goodness. Everything seemed to be going bad for them, and I can only assume that they're going to get a title shot at Summerfest because of this. And whoa, 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 James is upset. Staring down his brother John. They should be celebrating right now. They're... James is walking out the ring. James is walking out. Uh, I guess they're not going to be getting a title opportunity. Oh, well, well, ladies and gentlemen, we are speaking of title opportunities. We are coming up on our next matchup. We got Jake Thompson, the refreshing superstar. Going up against Johnny Masters in a number one contenders match for the Intercontinental Championship. Now, ladies and gentlemen, the Intercontinental title match that they're fighting for will be on the stage known as Summerfest. So, especially since this is for the number one contenders, a title shot at the Intercontinental title. Dark Lucha has got to be somewhere watching. He's got to be somewhere watching this match. But again, the refreshing superstar, Jake Thompson, interjecting life, trying to refresh the scenario, as he'd always say. He also wants to refresh that ear. He also has his sights on refreshing that ear cut no title. But here comes his opponent, someone who has different plans, Johnny Masters. Here comes his opponent here. Now Jake Thompson is a former Intercontinental Champion. Johnny Masters has never held the title, but he is gunning for it. He wants to hold that championship. That is the workhorse title. Having that title proves that you are a workhorse, that you do not lounge around. You are a fighting champion. You work hard. You work your butt off for this. That's what having that championship proves. And that that is a good thing to have to boost your resume in a company like this. In a business like this. Both of these men are gunning for Dark Lucha in the Air Cocktail title. Both of these men won to go to the grand stage that is Summerfest for an Intercontinental title match. Fighting for an Intercontinental title match, not just on any stage, but a grand stage, a big stage like Summerfest, the second grandest stage in XWF, that that does something to your morale, that, that motivates you. Just being in the match alone. So having this opportunity to get that match will definitely would definitely light a fire under your under your new you know what. Johnny Masters getting ready to go. Jake Thompson is ready to go. Both these superstars, the bell rings, are starting off and they're in a tie up. And Jake Thompson backs down Johnny Masters. Backs him down straight to the corner. He lets him go. No cheap shots thrown here. Oh wait a wait a minute. What was he trying to go there? But. Jake Thompson doesn't care as he lays him out with a clothesline. So Jake Thompson starts off this matchup with a control and a big boot to Johnny Masters. And another one to the face. Now John, oh, oh, well not Johnny, Jake starting off with a vertical suplex. Jake Thompson has control of this matchup, and he's not letting go. They wrote, oh, Johnny rolls through. Drop toll hold on, ja on Jake. Now Johnny with a net breaker on Jake Thompson. Now delivering elbows to the refreshing superstar. Pretty much telling him, refresh these. 
Oh! Working on that leg here. Now a kick to the back. And try to go for another kick to back with jo Jake saw through it. He whips Johnny to the corner. Ooh, and he misses a clothesline, taking himself out. And he tried to go for that back elbow. No. And now into a headlock of Johnny. And Johnny rolls through. And Jake Thompson. This is what it feels like for him to be refreshed in this scenario. He's got control of this matchup now. Or he used to. As Johnny is now smashing his head multiple times into the turnbuckle. That's what happened, folks. Take your eye off the ball for one second. You could be losing everything. Oh, what a kick from Jake Thompson. And now stomping on that arm. Now he's going for the pin. That was a deadly kick from Jake. But not enough to get one. Not even enough to get a two count on Johnny Masters, though. Now he's got him up on his shoulders. Johnny Masters counter the reverse DDT. And now Johnny sends Jake to the top. Or not to go to the corner. corner. And a leg drop. One, not even the two count. Just the one count. Both these men trying to end this match early. They're trying to move on to Summerfest and face Dark Lucha for the Intercontinental title. But Jake Thompson now have control. No, Masters counters. Wait, 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 wait. Hold on, hold on, hold up. And that's a hit. Misdirection on the part of the refreshing superstar. And he looks to end this now. Force. He calls that force refreshment. One, two. No, Johnny kicks out. Jake doesn't look too happy that Johnny kicked out a forced refreshment. His new move, and it failed to get the job done. Now Johnny with the DDT. Now what's he going for here? Johnny got Jake up on his shoulders. And a Samoan driver from Johnny Masters as he goes for the pin. One, two, no kick out. Both these men took their best shot and failed. But Jake Thompson fighting in this match still. Whips Jake. Oh, he missed again. He tried to go for that same clothesline in the corner and missed. And now Johnny Masters is in control of this matchup. As he takes Jake back into the ring. Hey, what's, what's, what's Johnny going for here? I think he was trying to go for something. Doesn't well, it didn't matter though, it took too long, but he seems to recover really well from it. But oh, wait a minute, he got another back elbow this time, it, it, it may have busted him open, and another big boot. What, what is Jake doing? Oh, Jake's trying to use the ropes. One doesn't even get him one count, barely. Johnny Masters. Not taking a liking to that. Body slam. Sit out. Body slam. Now he drags Jace, Jake Thompson closer to the sound of the ring. And a jawbreaker. Goes for pin one. Doesn't even get a one count. And now Jake Thompson. Getting back into the matchup here. What was he doing? Oh, he, I think he was trying to go for a Virgil suplex, but Johnny kicked out, gigs out of it. And whoa, 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 whoa! Another Samoan driver. Oh. 
that may have done it. One, two, no. Now Johnny, he senses this. He senses the opportunity ahead of him. And so does Jake. Jake reverses into a rush and leg sweep. And Jake is now enjoying this. Like I said, he also knows what this means. If he can win the match right here, oh, what a gut buster. A title shot for the Intercontinental Championship at Summerfest. That is on the line here. And both these men want it badly. Johnny wants to reclaim the title. Jo Jake wants to... I'm sorry. Johnny wants to gain the title. Jake wishes to reclaim it. He's got him in a headlock, but he decides to go... Oh, wait. Backbreaker. I thought he was going for the inverted gut rich suplex. He's got him up. No, Johnny counters out of it. Ooh, he tried to go for the legs. Jake moved too fast. And a neck breaker on Johnny Masters as Johnny wisely rolling out of the ring. Now Jake is, again, taunting the fans. Definitely feeling it. Feeling this is his match. Look, Johnny Masters, I think the blood was in his eyes. He missed. He misjudged the distance as Jake countered on that. Capitalized, I'm sorry. I don't know what he's trying to go for there, but Johnny counters out of it. Jake counter out, counters out of whatever Johnny had planned. Ooh, a gut punch to Johnny. Oh, and now he's going with the bow and arrow here. Stretching the arms, knee wrenching on the back of Johnny. Oh, left and right. I'm sorry, right, left. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Inverted coverage suplex. One, two, and that did it. Ladies and gentlemen, Jake Thompson, the refreshing superstar, now has the opportunity at the Intercontinental Championship. He's looking to refresh this scenario in the title reign at Summerfest. He's got to be glad. Dark Roots has got to be... Wait, whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, oh, are you kidding me? You won the match. You won the title shot. That's enough of this. <sighs> yeah. Force refreshment, my buttocks. That just made me rhyme right there. But anyway, we got our main event of the fight. Tag Team Champions Game Over takes on the team of Jackson Hawk Hawk and Frazier pretty much but here comes the tag team champions game over Ryan and Cody I believe right Ryan and Cody yeah. that, that's got to be right right but anyway Sorry, my, my memory is just playing tricks on me. But either way, fight tag team champions are in the building. But here comes Jackson Hawk, the former Intercontinental Champion. And he, he's, he's sporting some new attire right now. Well, I guess he's taking it since he doesn't have a match at Summerfest. He might as well debut whatever he has new right now. Jackson Hawk make his way to the ring to fight the, f the, the fight tag team champions. Uh, 
Now this is someone This is something new for Jackson Hawk as he is coming in to tag team actually. He's usually a singles competitor, but he's going in I guess the tag team champions with a partner he is yet to tag team with before. Maybe he's, I don't know, looking to looking to find another way to glory, you know. You know, find another title to chase after his failed attempt to get back to your kind of champion. But, uh, let me make a earlier earlier correction his name is actually James O'Hara my memory is definitely fooling with me but it would be Ryan here I go messing up again it would be Jackson Hawk and James O'Hara against the fight tag team champions game over and O'Hara ready to go after not being as active for the past couple weeks but looking to make a huge name for himself, they could line themselves up for his future title opportunity. Getting a win here. Jackson Hawk will start the matchup. And they go and get it on. Ooh, and a deadly. Deadly toss. Jackson Hawk, Jackson Hawk, ooh, and the Russian leg sweep. Look at the athleticism of Jackson Hawk. Jackson Hawk is not a man to be trifled with. He is proving that right now as he backs his opponent up into the corner. Oh, I'll get a counter there. And Jackson Hawk's still in control of this matchup. Or he he was. But he gets whipped to the corner now. You know ooh a clothesline bulldog. Jackson Hawk is in trouble. And once again, I've made a mistake. Name's not Cody, it's Brandon Styles, but again, sorry as I was trying to correct my mistakes. Uh, a lot has happened. James O'Hara and Jackson Hawk were working well as a team, but Ryan Redden now finally makes his... Well, he did try to finally make his impact on the match. Didn't work. As now James O'Hara is in control. He's tossing Brian Red to his corner. And ooh, what an uppercut. But now Ryan Red. Or, well, James O'Hara now. <laughs> James O'Hara is still in control of this matchup now. Ryan Red, the tag team champion, is. Ooh. Well, he paid for that. Because James O'Hara trying to make a name for himself on this fight brand. He's one of the recent call-ups from Evolve. Or at least at the beginning of the season he was. He really has not made an impact on this brand since coming here. But Brandon Styles now in this matchup. And here comes the former Yurikano champion, Jackson Hawk. Lays out Brandon with the clothesline. Lays him out with another one. 
and another a third three for your mistakes Brandon now he's got him up on his shoulders what's he got here Ooh. don't know what he's trying to go for but Brandon counted out of it and a Pele kick from Brandon Styles. Sends him to the ropes. Or not to the ropes, to the corner. And oh man. Come on now. This is... This is rubbing his face. They're displaying their teamwork here. Taking it. Taking advantage of the referee's count. And oh, this is not good. Oh, and a drop kick finishes it off. A stompy. That's what I call it. But Jackson Hawk not want to be kept down. And another Russian leg sweep. This time on Ryan Red. And now he just stomps the face of the tag team champion. Jackson Hawk firmly control this match. This is a new format for him, but he doesn't care. He's he is certainly making his mark here. Ooh, not enough to keep down the former the fight tag team champion, but the former Yurikano champion shows life as he got him up on the shoulders. Ooh, and a knee breaker. Mm, sorry, face breaker. I'm messing up quite a lot. But it's just that just explains this high pa high pace, high octane impact matchup right here. As Jackson Hawk and Ryan Red are left in the ring, Brandon was dishing out some punishment on Hara. As I was reflecting on my mistakes on commentary, what a knee oh, face breaker! From Jackson Hawk going for the cover one two no Brandon Styles breaks it up I don't know what Jackson was trying to go for here but Brandon counters out of it but again Brandon just elects not to do anything else after that instead he wants to get back to his corner trying not to cost his team the matchup Jay Jackson stalking Ryan Red Ring on Ryan Red. But Ryan Red countering out of it now. Jackson says enough of that. And then lays it up with a huge clothesline. But Ryan Red sparks some life into his efforts. But the Irikano, former Irikano champion, too good for that. And a neck breaker on Ryan. Ryan counters out of that. And he gives Jackson a suplex for his troubles. Jackson Hawk making an attack to O'Hara. But Brandon Styles comes in as well. Forearm to James. Forearm from James. And a knee from James right there. And another forearm. James, he's headed to the top rope. He's got bad ideas. 450, no, gets the knees of Brandon. Oh, think both of them missed there. Brandon, Brandon was going for the super kick. James with the knees. And then Pele kick from Brandon. Using his veteran instincts as his advantage on the lesser experienced James O'Hara. Now he's getting his part partner in. Ooh, and a double arm drag, double hip toss, and a double kip up from the team from both of them. One, two, no. And James, James getting back up to his feet. He's willing himself back into this matchup. He gives Ryan a ooh, knees to the gut 
in the face, in the chest, just to the upper body in general of Ryan Red. As the momentum now comes back and forth. But James, he's got ideas. First suplex, and then a back suplex to cap it off. Now he's going back to the top rope. Again, dangerous ideas, but he's calling Ryan up to stand up. What's he got planned here? Oh my goodness. Oh! Whatever he went for, he missed. But able to able to correct his mistakes to to fix himself. But no, here comes Ryan Red. Samoan driver. I might have done it. Jackson's too exhausted. And that does it. Game over. Are victorious. Your fight tag team champions. Take the momentum and end off the go home show before Summer Fest. They took down worthy competitors, worthy opponents, such as of James O'Hara and Jackson Hawk. But again, game over the fight tag team champions for good reason. Problem is, or the thing is, will they remain fight tag team champions? Walking out of Summerfest, that is the question. But if this match is to prove anything, it's a high chance. It's a high chance that they will. Thank you, everybody. I'm David Kustar, your main man, best color commentator XWF has to offer. This has been an off night for me, but it doesn't matter. It's still better than most. As I wish you a good night. <laughs>